Crunch VIP party at Pangea in beautiful downtown Austin. I'm Kimberly Dykeman. Um, we're just going to keep blowing and going. We've got a very cool guy next to me who has a company called Spice Works, and who doesn't love that name, especially in Austin. If it's got a little habanero or something like that, we'll take it. So yeah, yeah, and you like that the chili pepper is our mascot. That's our symbol. I love so, that. Yeah, I love right. that. So that's this right. is Jay. He's uh, the co-founder of Spice Works. That's correct. Tell us a, a smidge about the iTunes of, is it the iTunes of network management. iTunes of IT. That's exactly right. Wow, great memory. So, uh, a little bit about y'all. All, but all right. Well, very good. Because. Okay. Well, so Spice Works is uh, an application used by nearly half a million small businesses around the world. 194 countries, right from Austin, Texas have downloaded the software and use it to simplify their jobs, to run the networks in small businesses everywhere from Norway to Texas to New Zealand. Keep track of things. And you, this is free. It's totally totally free software. Totally free. And everybody goes, how can software be free? And the thing I always say is, just think of Google and everything that consumers do online rounded off is free. And so our thought was, if it's free for consumers, why wouldn't it be free for businesses? And if Google can make lots of money, why can't you find out other ways to make at least part of that money for other companies? So did you plop down in Austin, or did, were you living here and you said, you know what, this would be a great town to do this in? No, we, we happen to be in Austin, all of the founders from Spiceworks, and um, I've been here since about 95. First did business with uh, at 3M, Okay. went up to Boston for a couple years, came back. She got smart. Got smart, wanted to get warm again after two years in Boston. And then uh, all of the co-founders of Spiceworks worked at Motive, which was just a big software company here over the past decade. So we worked at Motive, and then we were all ready to go do something different, and we said, hey, let's start a company. And we didn't even have an idea. We just said, hey, let's work together, and we'll come up with something. Trust us. So you bootstrapped it. Uh, sort of. We were fortunate in that uh, we had all worked with Austin Ventures before at Motive, so they were familiar with us. We, did, we wanted to work with them. They wanted to work with us. And so we were real fortunate that they, they want to back teams. And so we said, hey, we have some ideas, and they wanted to be involved. So we were really lucky that Austin Ventures was behind us from the very beginning. Excellent. Well, they happen to be one of the sponsors of the evening. Exactly. So what, what's, what's a, a week like for you? Aside from going to work, what do you like to do here in Austin? Because you're not going anywhere, you're not leaving anytime soon. What do I like so, to do in Austin yeah, besides work? Yeah. Go to work. <laughs> Why Austin? And Austin's a fantastic place. Uh, I mean, not only to enjoy life, but also for us to raise a family. And it's you have kids? we do. Yeah, two two daughters, eight and six, <laughs> and they're going to go to ACL Fest this weekend. Sweet. Enjoy the music, and uh, but in, in Austin, I love to golf. What's your, what's your favorite so you can, club to go to? You know, it's kind of funny. I'm a, a public course kind of guy. Lions Municipal. <laughs> Riverside, Butler Pitch and Putt. Are you serious? Harvey Pennock. I'm, I'm old school and cheap on that front. And that's okay. Maybe after, maybe after we sell Spice Works, you know, we'll, 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 we'll right, check out right. something else. But it's... Uh, Austin's got... Gotta a, love old Muni. Save Muni. There's so many great little golf clubs here in Austin. It is. It is. It's fantastic. And, and actually, Lions, I've been involved a little, you know, they've interviewed me sometimes on television when I've been golfing with the kids, uh -huh. saying, save Muni. It's a treasure for the city, and I hate to see it go away. So are your kids little golf golfers, too, or are you raising them to be marathon runners, or what other sport is going on? Uh, and so it's great raising kids in Austin, and when you think of how fit and active the city is, because they love, they love golf, they love soccer, they love swimming. And you can do all of that readily in Austin. So it's such I'm a sure, great place. I'm sure that after watching the Olympics and seeing Michael Phelps, you're like, Daddy, let's go to Barton Springs, right? They haven't been to Barton Springs yet. We, we have to get them down there. Are they not old enough or what? Uh, no, their parents uh, don't like cold water. <laughs> <laughs> i got to give it a try one of these times, don't For I? For don't know or haven't put a toe into Barton Springs, it's a little cold. Here yeah, and that's there. right. But uh, and so one of the one of the cool things. I mean, and that's when I talk to entrepreneurs from California or New York or Europe or whatever. They are blown away at the lifestyle here for entrepreneurs. If you're an entrepreneur on the coast, you don't see your family. Yeah. You don't have that much fun. You might go skiing on the weekends, and you're going out in downtown San Fran. But here in Austin, we really can have a great balanced life. 
commutes we think are bad. Yeah, they're say, short. You're not even commuting. No, I mean, and I've got we have somebody working at our office from L.A. and he drives from Onion Creek to Northwest Austin. It's like the commute's nothing. Well, it's brilliant, I and mean, people complain a lot about traffic, and yet if it takes you 35 minutes to get somewhere, you actually went more than three miles. Absolutely. You know, it's a long, in it was LA a long. and in other cities I've been in, and it's like, for the love of Pete, I haven't even inched. And 35 minutes flies by. Here you actually get somewhere. And That's they're right. really working on the roads and stuff, too. Yeah. So I hope, you know, and I think the city will continue to progress. I think so. On that front. Like, love to get a little ma more mass transit in place. and uh, Indeed. So more more you, bike trails. I'd be a big fan of bike trails. Will you let your kids bike too? I would. I, mean, I grew up, I grew up in Minneapolis, and that's a, okay. that's that's one of my one criticism is Minneapolis have phenomenal bike trails, <laughs> hundreds or thousands of miles. Here it's a little. I'd love to see a little bit more on that front. Okay, we're we're gonna add that to the list for the Chamber of Commerce <laughs> to discuss go. apparently. Right. But Jay, thanks so much for taking the time. It sounds like Spike Source is doing well. You guys gonna stick around? You're enjoying it, and Austin is just giving you everything you could possibly want in a city. It's a great city. we got 31 Anymore. employees at the company, Sweet. and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll keep growing it and have a lot more opportunities for people in Austin awesome. to change the world of IT right I from Austin, it. Texas. I love it. World we'll Music fun. Headquarters. We'll have fun at ACL this weekend, and be Thank safe, all right? All right, will do. Again, we are at TechCrunch50 for AustinLifestyles.com. I'm Kimberly Dykeman. Be back in a few.